What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another MLB The Show Diamond Odyssey video. And guys, today, player of the month video predictions. Um, you know who's at the top. Before I get into it, drop a like, 75 likes, drop a comment, like the video if you are new. Um, posting every day. 2K is coming soon, getting ready. Um, get ready for a ton of gameplay on 2K, get ready for crazy videos. Crazy pack openings, crazy snipe videos, auction tips, everything, everything. Get ready for 2K. I'm getting ready for 2K. I know MLB is my. I started off on my channel on 2K, gained about 500 subs from 2K. Then I started doing MLB. I ditched 2K because it was getting slower, and I feel like I was too small for 2K. Now we're bringing the fan base to 2K. Uh, September, whatever. I'm strictly gonna post 2K. I want to become a 2K YouTuber. But, for now, we are posting MLB. Let's be real. When 2K comes out, MLB is definitely going to be a little slower. So, 2K it is in September. Get ready for that. Also, drop 10K in the comments. Like the vid stuff you are new for a chance of winning 10K. Um, let's get into it. Player of the Month predictions. Um, guess who's back up? Guess who's the best player this month again? Raphael Devers. Um, he already has an 88. But... Devers, once again, is slaying the league. The best player this month. You don't even... You can't even at me. Because he is. He's simply the best this month. He's unbelievable. I have no words. He's just so freaking good. He's batting like 325 on the season. He's a beast. Um, I, I have the stats in front of my face. Listen, if you don't agree, I don't care. He's the best player this month, hands down. And now, him and Altuve are neck and neck. Next player, Altuve. He's getting a card. It probably be it's either Altuve boss or Devers boss. Either way, they're lit. So there we said it. Altuve's beasting. Um, dude, Altuve's a beast, bro. Um, every year he's good. He's batting over three something, three I believe, over three forty this month. Slaying. He's got a. He's just doing amazing. Just believe me. Altuve's gonna get a card. Next up. First off, okay. One of, the, one of this kid attacked me saying Jose Ramirez was trash, but he's top three this month, and I have the stats in front of my face. So you could keep ranting saying he's not good, he's trash, but he's doing amazing and he's batting about three something this month with eight homers and 12 doubles, 13 singles, 23 ribbies, four stolen bases, three walks versus 12 strikeouts. So you could argue, but the stats don't lie. This dude's beasting and feasting. And he is a top player this month. So get ready for him to go diamond and get ready for him to go player of the month card. Next up, you know, a lot of people don't know about this dude. Just kidding. Everybody knows about this dude. It's Xander Bogarts. Xander Bogarts. Um, no words, dude. The, it's like he's good every time. He's good every year. And he's back this month at top three. He's a beast. Recommend... Like, he's just so good, man. The Red Sox offense, I have... They, they lose games somehow. How? They're stacked and they lose games. I find it embarrassing. Next up, Danny Santana on the Rangers. You know, he's actually top five right now this month. And it's crazy. It's really crazy, honestly. Um, He's very iffy. Like, he's an on and off player. He'll have a hot streak and then die and then come back. But top five this month, you could disagree I mean, I have the stats in front of my face. You could check the stats. Top five, hands down. You you could argue. I don't care if you argue. Like, it's in front of my face. Next up, another Boston Red Sox player. You guys know who it is. It's Mookie Betts. Will he get a player of the month card? Probably not. Um, let's go to Nelson Cruz, man. NC Boomstick. Beasting and feasting. Again, a top player this month. No other words, like... You know, Nelson Cruz, man, he still got it in his age. He still got it. Uh, I'm not even going to say Trout. If they give Trout, I I'm not even going to say it. You know Trout's a beast. Another one who might deserve it is Sterling Marte. Starling Marte on a Pirates. The Pirates are trash, but Marte is pretty good. And he's a top eight player, number eight on the rankings. Next up, we got Kepler, and we got Yuli Father over here, Yuli Grill. On the um, probably botched name, but you know what? He's definitely a top player this month. I mean, Josh Donaldson's a top player this month as well. Kepler, will they give Kepler another card? Probably not. 
Lindor is definitely a top player. Will they give him a card? Probably not. Rendon might get a card. Anthony Rendon. Um, Kento Marte, once again, top 15 this month. We all expected it. Also, Josh Donaldson, which, will he get a card? Nah, there's no way he gets a card, in my opinion. I doubt Josh Donaldson gets a card. Like, he's doing amazing, but he's got the, what, 98 overall? So, don't look for a Donaldson card. One card I'm looking to, I mean, this is also another card that's probably not going to happen. A Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I don't know, he's, he's tearing it up. He's doing amazing, actually. Um, is he going to get a card? No shot. Um, he has three cards already. Don't look for him to get a card. You know what? This one is interesting. Marcus Simeon. I think that's how you say his name. Probably botched it. He actually deserves a card. He'll probably get a pretty good card. Um, Kesson Herrera does a card, has, deserves a card, even though he has one. And Okuna deserves a card. He has one. So... At this point of the game, pretty much every player that's a top month player has a card. So what 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 is it? I don't know what to do. Like Ben Tenney deserves a card. He's top 20. But all those players I named pretty much have cards already. So what are they gonna do? I don't know. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I mean Ben Tenney probably deserves one. We got Justin Turner doing good. He's top 20 this month. George Springer's doing good. He has a card. Baez has a card. Like, I don't know, dude. Um, Alvarez has a card in the Astros. Oh, I know one who's definitely, definitely going to get one. Travis Darno. Of course, the Mets get rid of him and he becomes a stud. I mean, it's the Mets curse, you know? Like, he's a beast now. It makes sense, dude. It's, it just really makes sense. I mean, we don't need a catcher. Wilson Ramos playing fine, but it's kind of upsetting to see that the Mets got him as a rookie and he has done nothing. Like, I mean, he's just been injured every year and he's done nothing and now, like, he's good. It makes sense, right? Trevor Story's doing pretty good. Could he get a player in a month? Possible. McNeil could get a card, but forget the batters. We got to talk about reliever of the month, Seth Lugo. He's getting a card. Seth Lugo has a 0.00 ERA. So, he's getting a card. He's getting a card. If they don't give a card, I will be contacting SDS studio, um, in one second because... If he doesn't have a card, like, dude, he's the reliever of the month. He was literally announced reliever of the month. If he's not reliever of the month, I don't know what the heck's going on, MLB. Um, they need uh, Seth Lugo 99. No, I'm just kidding. Probably like an 86, 87 Seth Lugo. That seems realistic. Um, anyways, let's get into starting pitchers. See, if any starting pitchers are really thriving this month. Let's get into it. Let's go. We got Verlander. He has a 99. We got Garrett Cole. Definitely deserves a card. Um, 4-0 this month. Verlander's 5-0 this month. Wow, th that staff is just crazy. So, Cole and Verlander. Verlander has a 99 already. So, Cole, probably going to get a fire card. Shane Bieber might get a fire card playing well again. I mean, he's good every year. He's been good for the last two years. Probably deserves a card. DeGrom's been pitching very well this month. 3-0. Literally has four earned this whole month. Four earned runs, 44 Ks versus 10 walks, and 44 strikeouts in how many innings pitched? 33 innings pitched. It's DeGrom, dude. Like, come on, come on. It's DeGrom. We got Lance Lynn doing good, Strasburg doing good, Syndergaard doing good. I mean, the Mets, dude. The Mets, dude. Um, Aaron Nola's doing really good this month. Might be a good uh, pickup. Strasburg's 4-1. Uh, Domingo Hermen's 4-0. Domingo Hermen might get one. Luis Castillo, good again this month. Top pitcher. Um, Kershaw's 3-0. I mean, Samarja's not doing bad, but definitely I say Cole gets one. I say Bieber gets one. All right, let's get into relief pitchers. You know, we got to go Seth Lugo all day, every day, baby. Um, Seth Lugo is just, I, I know, I know I'm a Mets fan. I'm sorry. He's going to get a card. Anyways, uh, we got Seth Lugo. Really, that's really all that catches my eye. And maybe Keller on the, the Royals, but he's not really a relief pitcher. He's a starting pitcher, but he's been pitching, pitching light, lights out. He might get a card. Ian Kennedy might get a card. That's really all I see. Um, that's really it, honestly. I guys, I hope you enjoyed. Those are definitely all the player of the months. Like, I'm not even joking right now. Like, those are very accurate. J.D. Davis might get one as well. He's playing very well. Um, let's just hope that um, 
They get cards. The cards I announced are good. Let's hope for a 99 Devers. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, a 99 Devers would make my day because I'm a fan of him. His hitting is just, you know. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for some more content tomorrow. Hope you have a good one. Stay tuned. Twitter alerts. Peace. Oh, oh.